welcome to Coffee Kittens and Crafts. I am Amber and today we are going to be planning the week of March 29th through April 4th in my classic dashboard happy planner. And this is the planner that I do all things for Coffee Kittens and Crafts. So this is like one of my work planners for one of my businesses. The things that I pulled, first of all, I wanted to challenge myself to do only Happy Planner stickers in this spread, which I almost never do. I maybe have never done it before ever. I don't have a ton of Happy Planner sticker books. Um, I have a few and they are, I am getting more or I have gotten more recently, but I don't, I have not classically had a lot of them. Um, and I just, I like the flexibility of the scrapbook paper and all the stickers and everything. So it just hasn't really been my style. However, in this particular instance, I just feel like a challenge. So I want to try to do using just Happy Planner stickers as much as possible. Um, so the, th the two things that I pulled out to go through are the Pressed Florals book and then also the Year to Shine book because the reason why I pulled out this Year to Shine book actually was it has this peach color that just like so suits this color on this month's spreads in this planner. And so I thought, you know, this would be a good fit. And then it has different things that I think I'm going to be able to mix in. But then I also wanted to incorporate potentially a couple of these bigger florals and these have more boxes. So anyway, I pulled these two out. And then the other thing that I did pull out, this is kind of funny, <laughs> is the new Disney Princess sticker book. The reason I pulled this out, believe it or not, is because last week, which I'll show you, I used this tracker, this like checklist for this box. It has seven circles in it and it is like exactly what I need. And so until I make my own of that, I am probably going to be using whatever um, of the checklists in this sticker book work the best with whatever I'm doing because it's like exactly what I need. And I don't, I've looked through all of my sticker books that I have and I haven't found any others that have seven check marks. So anyway, that's what we're doing. I hope that you will stick around and let's dive in.
Okay, here it is. I think that it came out pretty well. It definitely is not how I typically do things, so that was a little fun to experiment with new ways. Um, but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon below so that you are notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you next time. I hope that you have a great day.